Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for February the 1st of 2020, well, it is titled Apollo 14 Heads for Home. So what do we see here? Well, taken back in February of 1971, this is an image taken by the crew of the Apollo 14 mission as they were leaving the moon. And as they traveled around the moon in orbit, they were able to see the Earth rising. And here we see the Earth rising as a very thin crescent, so a view that few people have ever had a chance to actually see live. Uh, normally, we think of the moon as going through phases, which it does, but from the moon, the Earth will also appear to go through phases, and in this case, would appear as a very thin crescent, and you can see that small amount of it that is illuminated by the sun right here. Now, interestingly enough, while we're used to watching the moon rise and set on Earth as it goes through its phases, from the moon, the Earth would look a little different. So, yes, the Apollo 14 astronauts in orbit around the moon could watch the Earth rise and set as they went around the moon. But if you were just standing on the moon, on the near side of the moon, and looking towards the Earth, you would just see it hanging there in the sky and going through its phases. It would not rise nor set. And that is because the moon's orbit is locked to the Earth, and the moon always keeps the same side facing towards the Earth. And that would be the uh, near side always facing the Earth, means the, moon would all, the Earth would always hang there in the sky and would never actually appear to rise or set. However, it would go through the same set of phases that we see on the Earth for the moon. They would just be opposite. So if we see just a very thin crescent here for the Earth, then that means that from the Earth, the moon would be almost totally illuminated. Uh, in the foreground, we can see the lunar surface itself heavily cratered and a very desolate area. Uh, heavy craters are because of impacts on the moon where material from space has struck the has crashed into the moon and caused these craters. Now, the same number of craters have occurred on the Earth. However, we don't see those craters uh, anymore, and that's because on the Earth they get worn down. The Earth is a very active planet, having volcanic activity, which would wipe out some craters and causes some of the Earth to be resurfaced. In addition, the Earth has weathering effects, and those that weathering would include wind and water, which would wipe out craters over long time spans, say millions of years, whereas on the moon, craters that formed a million years ago would look brand new because of the extreme lack of any kind of weathering on the moon. So here we get to see the uh, image of the moon and the Earth off in the distance as taken by the crew of Apollo 14 as it begins to head for home. So that was our picture of the day for February the 1st of 2020. It was titled Apollo 14 Heads for Home. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Shocking Infrared. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.